First reading, a reading from the first book of Samuel, chapter 16, verses 1 to 13. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you grieve for Saul, whom I have rejected as king of Israel? Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem, for I have chosen my king from among his sons. But Samuel replied, how can I go? Saul will hear of it and kill me. To this the Lord answered, Take a heifer along and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I myself will tell you what to do. You are to anoint for me the one I point out to you. Samuel did as the Lord had commanded him. When he entered Bethlehem, the elders of the city came trembling to meet him and inquired, Is your visit peaceful, O seer? He replied, Yes, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. So cleanse yourselves and join me today for the banquet. He also had Jesse and his sons cleanse themselves and invited them to the sacrifice. As they came, he looked at Eliab and thought, Surely, the Lord's anointed is here before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not judge from his appearance or from his lofty stature, because I have rejected him. Not as man sees does God see, because he sees the appearance, but the Lord looks into the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab and presented him before Samuel, who said, The Lord has not chosen him. Next, Jesse presented Shammah, but Samuel said, The Lord has not chosen this one either. In the same way, Jesse presented seven sons before Samuel, but Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen any one of these. Then Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? Jesse replied, There is still the youngest who is tending the sheep. Samuel said to Jesse, Send for him. We will not begin the sacrificial banquet until he arrives here. Jesse sent and had the young man brought to them. He was ruddy, a youth handsome to behold, and making a splendid appearance. The Lord said, There, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel, with the horn of oil in hand, anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David. When Samuel took his leave, he went to Ramah. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 2, verse 23 to 28. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this, the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need and he and his companions were hungry, how he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest and ate the bread of offering that only the priests could lawfully eat? and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, God has called us for a special mission and special purpose. He gives us a special vocation at the moment of our conception itself. 
Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, while choosing us for a special mission, He does not look at our outer appearance. He looks at our heart. What He wants to see is our heart. If we have a genuine desire to serve Him, He is ready to entrust a special task upon us. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, a classic example for this is found in today's first reading, which is taken from the first book of Samuel. God the Yahweh was displeased with King Saul, the first king of Israel. Therefore, God the Yahweh asked Samuel to go to Bethlehem and to find a suitable successor to King Saul. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, further King God the Yahweh said, Samuel, go and meet Jesse. He has seven sons. One of them will be anointed as the second king of Israel. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, when the first seven sons were presented to Samuel, Samuel thought that they must be the elected one of God the Yahweh because they had a good physical stature and their out appearance was good. But the God the Yahweh told Samuel, do not look at their out appearance, look at their heart. And King David, who was the youngest among the sons of Jesse, was elected, was chosen to become the king of Israel. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, God does not look at outer appearance, but he looks at our inner disposition. He looks at our heart. That is what we see in the case of Moses. Moses had a physical defect. While he was speaking, he was stammering. That is why he refused to go to Egypt to become a mediator between God the Yahweh and people of Israel. But God said, I am going to send you as a mediator between me and people of Israel. In the case of Prophet Isaiah, it is the same. When Prophet Isaiah saw the appearance of multitude of angels, he said, I am a person who is living among the men who have unclean lips. Then one of the angels took a piece of charcoal and touched the lips of Prophet Isaiah. And then the angels said, now you are ready to take up this mission. Therefore, God does not look at our outer appearance. For him, what is important is our inner disposition and our heart. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the patron saint of priests and religious, Saint John Mary Vianney, he was not a studious character while he was undergoing formation. He was very weak in Latin, but the good Lord saw that he had a genuine desire to become a priest. Therefore, through the blessing of good, good Lord, he became a priest and he carried out a tremendous task in the small village so called us. Why? Because he was genuine. And God saw the genuineness of his heart. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, if we are genuine while responding to God's calling, He is going to entrust us with a special mission. He is going to strengthen us and He is going to bless us immensely. Therefore, let us try to become genuine while responding to God's calling. Amen.